So in this video, we're gonna talk the Vegas value proposition, reasons to come and not to come to Las Vegas. We're gonna give you positives and negatives because people are kind of getting burnt out on the negative, but I try to stay objective. We're also gonna talk about whether or not casino resorts in Vegas are monitoring you or building profiles of you before you even get here. That's an intriguing thing, right? So stay tuned to the video because it starts right now. So how's it going out there, everybody? My name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger, YouTuber, guy with a camera. I'm a local. Do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for new notifications, and leave us a comment below as we talk. We'll ask some questions. But we have to talk about, you know, the Vegas value proposition. And what is it? And the pros and cons of coming here right now in this uh, world that we live in that's like a, it's like Israel. I think Israel, they have something, if you're from Israel, comment below, they have something like living with COVID because this stuff isn't going away, so we have to learn to live with it. But are the trade-offs there? Is it worth coming into town? We're gonna talk about that. Plus, as I mentioned, social media, resorts, it's scary. Stay tuned for that. If you guys like this video, uh, check out our channel sponsor, Pinai Magazine. They're buying billboards over at Resorts World. They put these beautiful women in their magazine. That for whatever reason, they sponsored my channel, and I'm eternally grateful to them. Thank you so much for that. And uh, you guys can check them out on Instagram, um, and uh, they're going big or going home. They have a new crop of billboards coming up on uh, September 2nd, I believe it is. And so go check out the billboards at Resorts World. You're going to see them. It's the biggest uh, billboard in the entire city, probably the Western United States, if not the whole country, I believe. So there you go. Thanks to our channel sponsor. Maybe they chose the channel because my wife is from the Philippines. My Filipino wife, Sweet Caroline, she makes these masks from vegasfacemask.com no s at the end we got some vegas good stuff but we also have different things on the site that are not vegas themed or not themed at all solid colors goes over the back of your head not your ears no nose wire doesn't fall down your face because of her amazing design very comfortable to wear lightweight two layers of cotton easy to breathe through when the fall months come around it won't fog up your glasses all that much these are actually better than those little blue masks that everybody wears nowadays. So VegasFaceMask.com, no S at the end. Free shipping anywhere in the United States, two for 25. All right, so yeah, Vegas value proposition. By the way, on these videos, you're gonna notice timestamps uh, as long as I remember to do them. And that's gonna mean that you can click on the timestamps to go to where I'm talking about new topics to help you guys hear what you wanna hear. So we're gonna talk though, is, if, is it worth coming to Vegas right now? That's the question. I mean, for those of you who have been here, why don't you leave us a comment below and tell us what your experience was. Was it like old Vegas, but you had to wear a mask when you were in buildings? Was it not the same for any other reason? Because right now everything's open. Restaurants are open, we're 100% capacity, there's no limits, there's no restrictions. And from what it looks like, Governor Steve Sisolak of the governor of Nevada, I don't think he's going to impose any restrictions. I mean, aside from the face masks, you have to wear them when you're inside buildings. If you go to a show, you have to wear a face mask. But at the same time, guess what? You can go to a show. So I was having this conversation with a friend last night, and we we're talking about it. And I said, the problem is it's really challenging to make positive stuff right now because everything seems so negative, and I don't even know if the value is there. So we started talking about the Vegas, prop, Vegas value proposition. So on one hand, you've got to wear a mask, but you can go to a show. That's a good thing, right? On another hand, it seems like the city has somehow not returned entirely. It's not as busy as it was, but that's a negative if you wanna see the hustle and the bustle. You can always come on the weekends or go to major events and that kind of stuff. But at the second, on the other hand, I mean, look, the city's not as busy as it was. You're gonna kinda of have an easier time getting to and from places and you're not gonna be stuck in lines as much. We still have shows, we still have resorts, we still have hotels, we still have conventions, we still have everything. And unless Governor Sisolak loses his mind and mandates vaccines be necessary for all of these things, I don't think the casinos are going to go to vaccination status only, but that's going to be something that society drives because it's already happening in certain sectors. And we won't even talk about that right now because it's just kind of hearsay and conjecture. So the Vegas value proposition, is it gone? Not necessarily, but there is trade-offs to be made in life, but life is about trade-offs. If you're in a marriage or a business relationship, you don't always get your way. And if you do always get your way, I don't know if that's a very healthy relationship. We grow by not always getting our way. Unfortunately, you can't say the same thing about, well, it's growth because I have to wear a mask. It's just, and some people can't tolerate wearing them. And if that's you, and if you don't want to get one of the great ones that we make, and you just refuse to go out anywhere, then you're going to miss out on some time of your life that you could be having, and memories that you could be force it, forging. And, and, and those memories don't go away unless we turn kind of old and senile in our later days. 
So what's your best Vegas memory? You put that in the comments below. You know, it just seems like we have to live life and life has to go on. And we still have the value here for you to come into town and it still exists. You just got to look for it. And you got to plan for it. And you got to look past the mask mandates and all that kind of stuff because nobody's social distancing. There's not even a mandate for that. Just wear a mask. So I think the Vegas value proposition is there. I'm, uh, some of you might be surprised I actually said that talk myself into it after I thought about it because a lot of you guys think that I only have negative things to say but the other thing we have to talk about in this video not necessarily all that positive and the other thing we talk about is whether or not casinos and resorts and properties are basically making a profile on you before you even show up now lots of businesses do this I mean Facebook does this if you're on Facebook Twitter does this any Google does this and they do this by following you around from site to site using cookies that then form an idea of what you're all about so if you happen to really like you know if you happen to really like the show it's always sunny in Philadelphia they're gonna peg you as a fan and they're gonna show you some merchandise is that even a thing anymore does that show even exist or the better example would be like if you really like you know classic cars and you visit classic car websites and groups and everything like that you're likely to get some kind of auction from ebay ad and we'll click here to buy now for something classic car related so the casinos are doing this but it's not for the reason you think apparently the casinos are either doing it or thinking about doing it my source said i think it's thinking about doing it but it's like this you book a hotel room in vegas they know you're coming from you know des moines iowa I don't know, I just picked that out of a hat. Anybody here from Des Moines been there? Leave me a comment before below. I'm sure it's very nice. But your name is like Bill Smith. Now, by the way, if Bill Smith is watching from Des Moines, Iowa, I will eat my hat, and I have a lot of them. <laughs> but uh, they know you're coming from there, so they go on the social media, and they see what you're all about. And they're doing this apparently because the casinos are freaked out about the security of guests, especially after the last year or so that we have had of uh, crime on the strip, crime being up, Metro coming out, doing uh, different things like Operation Persistent Force, Parts 1 and 2, putting a presence on the strip. They're hoping that they can get a handle on the people who are coming in before they even come in here. So if they go over to Bill Smith's profile, and Bill, if you're watching, I'm sure you're a really nice guy. This isn't really you. But he has a profile where he's got, you know, violent stuff on his on his timeline. He's got, you know, things that are red flags. Then they're going to monitor him when he comes, not deny him a room. That would be ridiculous. Nobody wants to turn away business. But it's like a preemptive precognition type of minority port way to apparently look at people before they even show up. And hopefully we have nothing but the good folks coming into town. But sometimes you're going to have the bad ones, too. And I guess that's good for the security of everybody. And if you do put yourself out there on social media, just do what I do. You know, go to your Facebook and change the settings so that if somebody's not your friend, it's not showing public posts. Because that's the thing. You should have your post settings set to friends of friends only. And then somebody actually has to become your friend, which they could trick you into doing. But the casinos aren't going to do that. And other people not watching you aren't going to do that. Funny side note. I remember years ago with the advent of Facebook, there was a story about some kind of a state in the United States that was... Was, uh, it was their, um, the uh, whatever department it is that makes sure that deadbeat dads pay. And they were basically looking at people's profiles to see if they got a job. You know, it's like they're monitoring Bill Smith. I don't think Bill Smith exists. I sure hope not because I'm running with it. And if Bill Smith said that he just took a job working at Tesla you know, up in northern Nevada, then they would contact Tesla. Hey, this is the state of Nevada. Do you have Bill Smith working there? Yes, we do. Well, hey, guess what? He owes $1,800 a month child support and he has to pay and we're going to be sending a letter in the mail garnishing his wages. So if you don't want to be openly, honestly advertising everything on social media that can come back to haunt you, make that stuff private or don't even post it at all because this is the kind of world that we live in and this is the way that things are monitored. What's your take on social media? Leave me a comment below. These are some thoughts about Vegas today. The value is here, I feel, even though you have to wear masks and all that kind of stuff nowadays. And who knows if it ever returns back to truly, totally normal. I'd like to be an optimist and be pragmatic, but I'm also a realist and I'm also a person who basically makes his worth by analyzing trends and I don't think they're going away anytime soon, but would you come back? And also, What's your take on them building profiles of you? Is it for a better, safer place? Tell me in the comments below. If you need a mask, check out VegasFaceMask.com, no S at the end. These can actually just go underneath your shirt if you wanted to. So in the wintertime, you're covered. Nobody even knows you have one on. It's like, oh, what's that red thing? Ah, oh, it's just a necklace. There it is. And also check out our channel sponsor, p Magazine, over on Instagram. They're so nice to sponsor us. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment for us. That would be helpful too. And now's the time of the video where I say, that's my video and I'm sticking to it. And if you're ready for this, we're going to say three, two, one, click. So are you ready? 
three, two, one, and click.